Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building my farina or more specifically we're going to be I guess perfecting my farina because I've already built her. I made a whole building video on her where we got a good weapon for her. We got some pretty decent artifacts, the four piece golden troop, no constellations and some okay talents but we didn't really max her out we, there was a lot more potential that farina has to explore that i didn't explore in that video like for example taking her to level 90 getting a better weapon than the jade cutter possibly getting some better artifacts and even potentially crowning her that is just a little hint of everything we're gonna do in today's video we have a lot of exciting stuff ahead of us we might even possibly roll for the c1 i don't know i haven't made up my mind yet on if i want to go for it or not but with all that being said i'm excited to perfect farina so without further ado let's get in to the video oh yeah also if you haven't already please please consider subscribing to the channel only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed it's super simple and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content and that i should put out more videos similar to these in the future so if you could it would really mean a lot to me if you could just go down click that little button and let's get in to the video all right, Farina, well, we have a lot of work to do today. I want to try to get every upgrade I possibly can for her by the end of today's episode. And that starts with getting her to level 90. That is our first mission for the day. And to do that, we have most of the materials. I pre-grinded everything, except I do need nine more of these lake light lilies. So let's go and get those quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and there we go we have our level 90 ascend we got all the ascension mats we need and we have a level 80 out of 90 farina all we need to do take her to the maximum using our exp books now we might not have enough here i thought we may be close but i'm not sure how close we'll be let's see here it looks like we can get 88 and we're gonna be stuck at 88 okay so i need like maybe 40 to 30 more of the purple exp books to get her to 90 and that's what we're gonna do because i will not leave the queen herself the real hydro archon farina at level 88 out of 90 that will not happen oh and for everybody who wants to debate if farina is a real archon or not she is i rest my case Die! Ah! And just like that, boom! We got a level 90 Farina in our party. And with that, we have finished the first part of our Farina build. She is now level 90. The next one is potentially the most important upgrade we have today. If you guys don't know, the Primordial Jade Cutter is her second best in slot weapon. Her first best in slot, it is her signature weapon, the Splendor of Tranquil Waters, which is on the weapon banner. And I don't like rolling for weapons. However, comma, I did a video recently where I built C6 Mona. And although this sounds really stupid, I wanted a Skyward Atlas for Mona. And so silly old me said, hey, maybe we could get it on the weapon banner. And little did you know. All right, let's pull for a weapon. We're going to get it. Trust me. Easy proc right here. Watch this. Watch this. This is it. Not that. I don't want a sword. That being said, if I get the Focalore sword, I actually will be kind of happy because I did want that weapon too. That being said, that's not the video today. Shoot. Please. You know, well, kind of, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not upset about that. I can't complain about the Focalore's weapon. Farina is going to be eating good with that weapon. I can't lie. Yeah, so we have a Tranquil Waters now. Obviously, I was never going to get Skyward Atlas. And thank heavens I didn't get the Baiju weapon because now we have an even better weapon for my Farina. And she's no longer going to be sitting at the most uneven ratio of all time. So let's switch over to her best in slot weapon, the Splendor of Tranquil Waters and enhance it as far as we can i've pre-grinded everything there should be nothing to worry about here all we got to worry about is taking this thing all the way to level 90. to think at level 70 this thing has 70 percent crit damage that is broken now we have 80 percent crit damage and now we need to 
grind more materials. What are these things? Newborn tainted hydro phantasms. What enemy is that? Oh, this thing. Oh, these suck to grind. Hold up. Whale moment. We're having a real whale moment here. To be honest, I don't even think that's enough. Whaling can't get me through all my problems. Please be enough. Five? Proc five times, Sucrose. I believe in you. One time. Not good enough. But is it enough? Weapon? Enhance? Five short. Okay. Looks like we're gonna go grind some Hydro Phantasms and we'll be right back. What's that, like montage number three? Man, there's too many montages today. But anyways, let's finish off the weapon here. Bang, bang, boom. Level 80, level 90. There we go. Huge. 88 crit damage on the weapon. That is absolutely gigantic. Let's take a look at her stats now. 51 to 12. Oh my goodness. Well, now I may be a little too uneven one way than the other way. Before, we had too much crit rate. Now we might have a little too much crit damage. So let's try to balance these artifacts a little bit because I do have some pretty decent artifacts for her. Right now, I'm running double HP on the hat and the goblet. And then I'm running recharge on the sands with 26% HP as a sub, which is really nice. But I could use a little more crit rate on maybe perhaps her feather or even her flower could possibly use a little bit more crit rate just to sort of balance out our stats a little bit so let's see what we have in the golden troop set we have one right here with crit damage hp recharge theoretically we get crit rate and it is the perfect piece for farina that's not what i needed defense useless come on crit rate defense again we already have crit rate on this piece but it's pretty bad double crit em useless well, that's all our flowers gone. Doesn't look like we're getting an upgrade in the flower department for right now, which is a little sad, but it is what it is. The next option we would have would be getting a better feather. And I have a ton of feathers, as you can see here. And currently the one we have only has 3% crit rate. So potentially we could get a better feather. In fact, I already have one on Fischl right now that actually has 14% crit rate, which is super good. If I slap that on her, we're now looking at a total of 61 crit rate to 200 crit damage, which is really, really good. I could also get her on a crit rate hat, like this one right here, except look at the sub stats. I mean, maybe if it rolls one good off stat and then rolls into that stat every single time, uh, I don't think it's good enough. Other than that, I have no crit rate hats. And that's about all the pieces I have in the golden troop set right now. Other than that, I don't have too many good pieces I could even possibly put on her. These are like my best pieces right now. And honestly, I think her stats are okay. We have 40,000 HP, 44 EM, 1200 attack, over 61, 208, which is pretty decent. 180 recharge and then no hydro damage bonus, but she doesn't need hydro damage bonus as much as other characters do. Although it is still helpful on her. And to be honest, I'm okay with that for her final build. She is complete in the artifact and weapon department. Now we are just going down the list here. Start with level, went to weapons, then to artifacts. So next up, constellation. Now I don't like rolling for constellations on characters. It's never been my favorite thing in the world. I just don't think it's necessary for most characters in the game. There's no need to roll for constellations. However, I really did enjoy Farina's character and her character story in the act five of the Fontaine world quest. So because I like her character so much, I don't have as many qualms with rolling for her C1 and it's actually pretty decent. It's a good C1, increases the limit on our fanfare points, which is super helpful in giving our characters higher buffs. And then potentially we could also get the C2 if we get a back to back. Will that happen though? Probably not. Currently I only have 6,000 Primo gems, so my odds are not great. That being said, we define all odds. We break the game every single time we play. I'm gonna skip the four stars for today. I'm not really interested in the four stars. It's gonna be a lot of dupes for me. So we're just gonna skip past the four stars for today. The only thing I really care about is Farina and I'm hoping maybe, no, okay, okay. Another dupe call, I see. This is why I skip past four stars now. I honestly missed the days when I didn't have to skip past four stars and I actually cared about them. But right now, all I care about is one character. Not that one. Well, actually, Charlotte, I do get constellations for. We'll take the Charlotte. But we only got one more 10 pull here. The fastest wishing session of all time. Please. I know it's only 40 pity. I don't think I had any pity before this. 
No, I literally just got Mona. So it is guaranteed. If I get a five star, I will get Farina. Shit. I guess we'll see out the last one. Can I at least get a, a Charlotte for my time? No, I can't. Okay. Whatever. Sad, man. No Farina. We have a couple more wishes here. Maybe a couple singles. We can't do a full 10. We can do some singles, though. That ain't it. Can this be it? No, it cannot. Too bad. So sad. No Farina for us. We tried to get the C1. It didn't happen, but that is okay. We can live without the C1. We'll build up a little pity for the upcoming Navia, and we'll move on to building the rest of Farina. Now that we're done with Constellations... It's time to move on to talents, the final thing of the day. And it's time to be the first person ever to crown Farina because I don't think you could crown her up until this point. Or maybe you could if you focused all your mats on one talent. So maybe I'm like the, the fourth or fifth person to crown Farina. But today we're going to be crowning her skill. The burst and the skill are the two most important things about her kit. However, I value the skill a little more. So I'm going to choose to max out her skill to level 10. And then later on down the line, I'm going to do her burst too. Unfortunately though, I just do not have the lightless mass to do so because we can only fight the all devouring narwhal so many times. So we're going to take this talent to level nine. And can we do the level 10? No, we need a couple more things. We're going to need a couple more energy nectar and we have to fight the all devouring narwhal a single more time and then we'll have everything we need perfect and for the energy nectar whale moment time whale moment boom we have enough boom we definitely have enough craft 10 more energy nectar we're good problem saved there we go and now we definitely have enough to max out that skill and with that we have one more thing to get our final mission for the day to fully max out my farina we have one final mission to do kill oh but wait a minute remaining attempts to claim treasure zero out of one. Oh, so we can't claim it today oh that sucks man do i even have enough to use the dream soul of its on can i at least use that i can't even craft anything what day is it today all right i've just checked the calendar it is a Sunday today, so it's going to be a one-day wait, and then the Narwhal will reset. So we're going to come back tomorrow, and we're going to finish defeating that Narwhal so we can finally max out our Farina and be the first ever person to crown Farina. Definitely the first. We're back. Day two, Farina building. It has been a whole day. It is Monday now, and we should now finally be able to get her talents to the max level because the boss respawned. Perfect. We now have one out of one treasure to claim. Let's go get it. Shadow from another world. Did I ever mention how much I love this cool, like, sea prism water stuff? I think this looks awesome. Anyways, let's head in to the boss. We're going to use my favorite Farina team, the composition of herself, Nouvellette, Fischl, and Jean. This is just my favorite overall comp and the one I've been using most with her. Obviously, because she is so versatile, she can work with basically anybody. This is just my favorite comp, but there is like a hundred million different comps you can use her in because she is really overpowered. Anyways, let's kill the Narwhal. Where is he? Uh, oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> he comes out so fast every time. Oh, God. Where are you now? Oh, there he is. Hello. Nouvellet, get your thing and go. And he's gone. He never stays on the field for a long amount of time. Oh, never mind. Spoke a little too soon. He's back. Go. There he goes again. Come back here. I have to run away. I have to run like halfway across the damn plane just to get him. I'm coming. It's okay. I can still hit him. Kind of. Does he have hydro resistance? Oh, he might. And there's giant meteors falling from the sky nuvalet dodge okay we're good and break this thing got it nice and now we're gonna get swallowed swallowed like the little ants we are goodbye cruel world i'll see you all in the next life okay let's go put up the farina burst here we go farina burst finally then we get gene burst and then we get nuvalet and he goes in with gene and official burst he now does 30k a hit my goodness God, she's so good. Just keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging. And go again. I need another Farina burst up. I need another Farina burst. Oh, God, wait, what? He's a he's a Geo Vision now? Oh, wait, never mind. He's normal. And finish him off. Nice, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, now we just got to finish off the big whale. Big whale, it's time to die. Farina burst into Gene burst into Fischl burst. 
into Nuvolet. And now we destroy him. Slowly but surely. I think this guy definitely has Hydro Res. Or maybe just res to every element. Or maybe he's just huge because he's a whale so he doesn't take any damage. That could also be it. But 10k ahead isn't as much as Farina should be allowing us to buff. But it's fine. He's almost dead. Just a tiny bit more. His health bar is so low. It's so low. Get, where did he go? Look at his health bar. There he is. Please just die. Oh my goodness. This is so painful. There he is again. This time we got him. There we go. And finally, we can claim our rewards and get the final... Well, these aren't actually what we need. We're going to have to go craft these into something else. But we got the final two things we need for our Farina. And, ooh, actually, that could be really good for Farina as an off piece. This could be a crazy Farina off piece, potentially. Farina does love herself a little bit of HP. So if we get it like a pure crit rate, crit damage ER hat, I mean, that could be super good. Now, where was it? It was Gladiator. Here it is. Crit rate, crit damage, recharge. I mean, if it rolls attack, it's probably dead. Just because my hat right now is so good and it's on set. But if we get anything else, I mean, this could be the god piece. Okay. <laughs> really? Was that necessary, man? I mean, one more chance, I guess. Crit rate? I mean, maybe. The thing is, my hat right now is already on set. And it has 13 crit rate, 12 crit damage. So it really can't be any better, to be honest. All right, let's go craft finally what we need so we can crown the Queen of Hydro, the real Hydro Archon. Here we go. Two more of the Lightless Mass. And I think this is all we're going to need to crown our Farina. Farina, Talents, Enhance. Here we go. 700,000 Mora gone. And we are left with 40,000 Mora. But we do have a level 10 talent. I am now super broke, like extraordinarily broke, but that is okay. We have a maxed out Farina other than our burst, which we will get eventually once I have more Mora. But that time I'll have to wait. For today, this is our Farina build. I'm super happy with it. But with that all being said, that is going to be the end of our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.